Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick video on how to update your SMOS USBs um, because there's quite a few newer versions that have been coming out recently and to get the latest miners to mine the newest coins you'll need the latest version of Simple Mining so there's two ways in which you can do that you can either format your old USB stick or you can just buy a brand new one so we're going to take you through both processes now how to format your old one and reflash that and then just flash in a new one if you want to go down that way so what we'll need to do first if you pop your USB stick in it's going to come up in one of two ways. So the first way it might come up is this SMOS config drive here. Or it might come up with two named drives. So here it's F and G. In this example now the two drives, what you'll need to do is if you click on the top drive that holds your config file in it. So if you just click on that and delete your config file. And then after you've done that, click on the second drive below that. And then it'll bring up this small box here you want to format it. So yes we do, click format. And then I'll show you what will happen when you click that in a second. So we'll just head back to the other example, the SMOS config drive. So depending on which version you're running currently, it'll show up in one or two ways. So for this example, click on the drive. Your config's already in there, so delete that file. And then because this is just a singular drive one, you'll need to right click on the SMOS config drive. And then you're just going to look to format this, the same as the other one. And then make sure you untick quick format, guys, before you start. And then click start, OK. And then, you know, it might be quick, might take 10 minutes, might take half an hour. But when that's done, you basically just now got a blank USB stick. So we can go to flash right now. So if you go to simplemining.net, the installation part on the side, you need to download etcher.io here. So the third bullet point down, download the application. That's just a flashing tool. And then you'll need to download the RX and NV OS image from down here. So essentially that's just the, the operating system image. So when you've got both of those downloaded, if you then open up the Etcher application, you'll see if you've already got it, your USB stick in, it'll automatically populate in the middle there, but I'll pop this out just for this example so I have, don't currently have a USB so first of all we're going to select the image and that's the image that we've just downloaded so the RX and NVOS image you'll need to make sure it's version 1189 that's for the current one the most recent one so make sure you've got that one because you've downloaded previous versions you know you can just choose another one so you select that image select the drive if you just pop your USB stick in it should automatically populate if not Go on select drive and then choose that from your drives you've got available and then click flash and then it might ask for a, a run command prompt something like that if you click yes to that and then it will start flashing okay so that's flashed fine now and then all we need to do is if you pop the usb out of the computer and then pop it back in straight away it should automatically bring up this folder which automatically has the config file in so all you do is double click on your config file and then what you need to do is you need to replace this admin email with the email that you use for your simple mining account so you pop that in there and then just save that and then that USB is flashed fine so then you can pop that back in your rig and you'll be on the latest version of simple mining.